Hi Taurus, welcome to a Love and Romance reading for May 2018. This is a general reading, so for further messages, please check your Venus Moon Horizon sign videos. If you would like a private reading with me, then all the information you need will be on the screen and in the description box. So if you're new, welcome to my channel. I put readings out monthly for you guys and I do little bits and pieces in between as well. So to keep updated on your love life, definitely hit that subscribe button. Now Taurus, I'm going to do your reading a little bit differently this month okay i don't know what has been going on for you lately but i feel like you've been through a really difficult time so normally i would start past present future then move on to your obstacles look at what's going on in your life and their life and then their wants your wants the overall energy and then the outcome but because you are going through so much um i'm going to do it in a different order um so I'm a little bit hmm, about the cards that have come out for you and they're telling me, it's just showing me you you have been going through a really tough time. Um, I don't know what is going on for you guys at the moment, but it looks like it's really, really difficult. Okay, so I'm going to start with what's actually going on with um, the factors that are affecting you. So you asked trying to remain positive about your love life right now okay and i feel like it's not easy some of you are dealing with a scorpio um but this is also a card of endings okay you've got peace which is the death card so this is why i'm a bit like oh you know taurus is really going through a difficult time and um in the crowning energy we've got the Ten of Michael as well, a situation has ended. So there's definitely some endings. And the Ten of Michael is the Ten of Swords. It's like, you know, you really have been stabbed in the back. Um, and this is why I kind of wanted to do it in, a, in you know, a different order. Um, just to, you know, kind of understand more what you're going through. And, um, you know, kind of look at the pain that you may be going through right now. Um, I think Pisces had quite a difficult reading where they were going through a lot of stuff as well um but i mean i you know there has been some kind of ending and i feel like you are trying to stay to stay positive you're trying to remain um optimistic and you're looking for you know like different adventures now so i feel like you are trying to you know stay uplifted um but it's not easy for you guys at the moment okay so that's you know kind of what's affecting you right now you know your love life endings um and in the crowning energy you know um there is a possibility to move forward and forgive someone and to learn from a situation but this person that you may have have recently broken up with or have had an ending with they've really you know betrayed you so i don't know what this betrayal is um but i feel like they may approach you and may ask you to forgive because you've got the forgiven and learning along with the nine of um one so it's like you know if you look at this man's facial expression it looks like someone's coming towards him and he's having to defend himself so he's definitely looking over his shoulder here so i feel like someone wants you to forgive them after um you know hurting you and now you're just you know kind of like well where do i stand you know um i don't want to be hurt again you know it might be that you're scared to let go of a certain situation that's happened because you don't know if the situation um how can i explain it it's like it's like i i feel like you don't want to let the to let go of the situation in terms of moving forward and forgiving somebody because it's like well are you gonna gonna put me through this energy again um in the rider weight deck this is the card, if I can find it in my Rider Waite deck. Um, I'll show you, you know, how kind of serious this is. So, this is what you're going through. Um, and this is the same card. The Ten of Michael is the same as the Ten of Swords. So, this is literally how, how you're feeling and what, and what you've been through recently. This isn't what you're going to experience. This is something that has happened already. So, I'm just 
kind of trying to acknowledge what you guys are going through um but you know you will heal from it okay you know if you look the word heal is here so you will definitely recover from whatever hurt and pain you've you know you've experienced but this is not a nice energy that you guys have had to experience um but it does definitely get a lot get a lot better okay so if we move into your future you do have the sun so you know you're feeling a lot more happy you're feeling a lot more kind of optimistic and um you know we've got a card which speaks about success and you know your dreams being fulfilled um so i'm going to go back to that in a little while i just kind of wanted to get the you know you know these bits out of the way so that it ends on like a positive note you know because i always like to do positive readings but i do have to also um take on the messages that you know spirit and the cards are actually giving me so um you know i feel like it's been tough for you lately so i just wanted to kind of address that um okay before i carry on i am i'm gonna pull some guidance cards for you guys I've done this for Pisces as well. I don't normally do these in readings, but... Okay, what are your messages for Taurus? So, in terms of your love life, you are being assisted. So, this message is going to mean different things to um, each of you that are watching this. But it's just saying that, you know, um, Daniel, the angel of marriage is assisting you right now so you are being assisted in your marriage in your love life in terms of commitment okay so what other messages do you have for taurus for may 2018 <clears throat> what other messages do you have for taurus patience okay so they are asking you to be patient now what i like about taurus is they are the most humble and one of the most patient signs going now is the time to learn study and gather information enjoy being a student because in the future you will synthesize your knowledge into action so what they're saying is just have patience at this time okay what messages do you have for taurus what messages do you have for taurus Just do you have okay time out you've been so busy looking after um you've been so so busy taking care of everyone else's needs but now it's time to stop and take care of yourself so you know they're just saying <clears throat> with everything that you've been been through it's like you know have patience take some time out and really care for and nurture yourself okay um so i'm gonna go back into the reading so if we look at the past you deserve love you are lovable we've got the seven of michael so a situation may have ended because of someone being sneaky someone um you know the seven of michael is kind of the thief energy and it's just saying that there is a better path um you know and then we've got the ten of wands so i feel like a situation really took it out of you because you know the ten of wands is someone who's um you know and along with the uh, the ten of swords the ten of michael these two cards represent someone who's just literally physically exhausted okay um but again it's going to improve um but i feel like someone's behavior has been very difficult to deal with and maybe has made you feel not so lovable but spirit is just reassuring you that you are 100 percent lovable taurus and you do deserve love okay um you know you can't be responsible for other people's behavior you know you're only um responsible for yourself so if someone has acted in a certain way it's not you okay it's not your fault so um in the present I, there there is passion allow your heart and soul to sing with joy but there's also a third party situation and this could be what this betrayal is about so um, I feel like you are having to kind of defend yourself or someone is being persistent in this situation. Maybe you're having to defend your relationship against a third party situation or maybe you're exploring your options because someone, you know, has treated you bad. So maybe, you know, you've maybe become single and now you're exploring your options or 
yeah so um and now now i feel like you're having to kind of defend yourself um or someone is being persistent with you but there's still you know you're still passionate about one another so in the future and this is um where things do get a little bit better okay right I'm going to start with the um, what I call the independence card. Your dreams are fulfilled. Hard work leads to great success. I love for the beautiful things in life and the sun. Okay, so if you are separated from someone, um, this may not be a permanent separation. It could just be something that's temporary. Okay, but I feel like maybe you won't be spending too much time with this person but it's like you're okay you know you you know you're strong you've got your independence you've got the sun so let me do some further clarification clarification on separation hmm. clarification on separation Okay, to be honest, this separation has been a hidden blessing. Um, love and blessings fill your life, harmonious relationships with family members, happily ever after. So, I feel like, you know, you may have walked away from a, from a very negative situation. It could be that if you are involved in a third party situation, one of you is walking away from um, a third party situation and... This could be why the separation card came out. So it may not be that you're going to be single. Some of you may be. But I feel for those of you that are exploring your options. I feel like you're leaving someone behind. And going towards um, the other person. And it kind of looks as though you're making the right choice. Because you've got the sun. And you've got the ten of cups. So it's not all bad. But I do feel as though um, there is a separation from somebody. But I more feel as though that's um, for those of you who are involved in a third party situation. Again, you may not be. Um, so in your overall energy, you do have wedding. The situation involves marriage. So these are your obstacles. So, um, you know, these are really difficult obstacles. I feel like someone's not really not really committing you know you've got the soulmate energy here you've got wedding but then someone's kind of turning their back to it with the five of aerial um so again this is what you're up against now but i do feel like it's going to definitely improve because you've got the sun and you've got the ten of cups the ten of Raphael, love and blessing so you know i feel like for those of you who are only seeing one person and you're separated, it's like you're better off without them. This could even be, um, you know, the Ten of Raphael and the Sun, someone better coming to you. Okay. Um, so let's have a look at what's going on in their life. So I feel like they are trying to fight for, for the relationship. Okay. And they're waiting for you, worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your love life. So... I feel like they are waiting for you because here we've got the Queen of Aerial. This represents you. So I feel like they're not going without a fight. They are fighting for you. Okay. Um, and what they want, they want you, their soulmate. Okay. And they want you to kind of come back. The Three of Gabriel is about your ships coming in. It's the Three of Wands. Um, so they want their ships to come in and... That's the soulmate. And I feel like it's you because it's all about a connection to the past and you know i do feel as though that's what they want they want to fight for you now what you want you want engagement you want some kind of commitment you want someone to be emotionally open and you want to be able to just trust this person which i don't feel as though you can right now um and with the page of pentacles you know i feel like you want to know what direction you're heading in um and i feel like you want this person to give you that stability, give you that security, okay? And I feel like you just want this person to message you as well. You know, pages represent messages, so I feel like you want a message to come in from this person. Um, so, in your outcome, 
you do have let go of control issues and you do have some kind of commitment that's coming to you now this could represent you being on form i definitely feel as though um you are going going to be fine and um, but i feel like you will end up in some kind of commitment here with divine guidance this represents the hierophant the hierophant is all about marriage so if you're struggling with commitment right now um it may not be for too much longer but there is need for someone to not be so cautious to move forward to put in the effort with the four of pentacles you know because here someone's being stubborn they're being cautious they're not really investing too much um due to being cautious okay so just you know allow the situation to unfold naturally okay don't try to push the situation be patient as these um as these cards said i pulled the patience card for you so be so be patient, try to be understanding with this person, get them to understand you as well, you know, because I feel as though you are the one that's been hurt, so really they need to kind of understand you um, as well. So let me clarify divine guidance, clarification on divine guidance, clarification. Yeah, so again, they're speaking about being patient and waiting for this commitment to come in. Okay, so, so this card says, you have invested wisely, have patience and wait for the harvest. Review your progress and make plans for your next endeavour. So I know it's not nice to be told to be patient, but, you know, um, Taurus, you are one of the most patient signs and one of the most humble. So what I would say is, you will get some kind of commitment, but it's going to just take um, a little bit of patience, okay? I feel like patience is needed here. So I'm going to move on to my element spread, which is where I look at what's going on for those of you who are dealing with um, different signs. So fire, air, water and earth, just to give you a more um, accurate message on your situation. So here I've got fire signs, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. I've got air signs, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. Um, Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer. Water signs and earth signs, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Okay, so we're going to start with fire signs. What love and romance messages do you have for Taurus? For Tauruses who are dealing with fire signs for May 2018. What messages do you have for Tauruses dealing with fire signs for May? Okay, so again, when you give, you also receive being resistant to change extremes in how you save or spend money. Okay, what's going on for Tauruses who are dealing with fire signs for May 2018? Ten of Gabriel, ask your angels for helpful people to lighten your load. Working too many hours, trying too hard to please others. So from what I can see so far is one of you is making an effort and trying really hard. And the other one's just kind of sitting back and like, hmm, they're not really, um, they're not really putting in as much effort. What's going on for... Tauruses who are dealing with okay you will get some kind of clarity a very happy ending coming full circle spiritual growth and insight so you will get some insight into this situation this is going to come full circle the world is all about cycle um about cycles endings and beginnings um so i feel like there may be a end of a difficult situation between you and this person, okay? Um, one more card for Tauruses who are dealing with fire signs for May 2018. So there will be some kind of solution to this issue. And um, again, they're speaking about you having patience and forgiveness. But the situation will heal. Whatever this is that you're going through with this person, if you're dealing with a fire sign Taurus... Um, then, you know, there will be some kind of solution. You will get a conclusion to it. You will have a new phase or a new cycle with this person. Um, 
but at the same time you will heal from it as well and there may be some kind of forgiveness and then you're going to be able to move forward but I feel like someone is kind of resisting a change and you know someone's not someone's holding back and someone's kind of burdened by the situation it's like a huge weight on your shoulders so I don't know what is going on in your love life Taurus but it's just a lot to deal with um <laughs> so but you guys will definitely come out the other end of it so now I'm going to move on to let's do earth signs so this is um for those of you who are dealing with a fellow Taurus, a Virgo or a Capricorn. So what's going on for Taurus is dealing with Earth signs for May 2018. So this person, you will rekindle with them, okay? Um, you know, this is all about looking back to the past, but there is a chance to rekindle with this person. So if you're dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, in May you will rekindle with them, which basically means there will be a reconciliation and you two will meet up or there'll be messages exchanged. It's like, it's not the end, okay? But this is a good reconciliation. What messages do you have for Tauruses dealing with Earth signs from May 2000? And... So this person, you may have left them out in the cold previously and, um, you know, you two rekindle. This is about being left out in the cold. So, I, right, okay, before I say any more, I'm going to wait and see what other cards come out. What messages do you have for Tauruses dealing with Earth signs from May 2018? What messages do you have for Taurus is dealing with earth signs? Okay. Yeah, okay. What messages do you have for Taurus is dealing with earth signs from May 2018? Okay. I'm going to be honest. Um, I feel like this person, I feel like they're going to try and come back because... Okay. It says that you will rekindle with them, but you've got three different cards that signify you not really wanting it, um, you know, and going after something better. There is something better waiting for you, okay? Peace is all about endings, you know, um, and you've got the five of... So there's three ending cards here, so I don't know... See, this can either go one of two ways, either... There's been an ending and then you're going to rekindle. Um, but it could mean that, you know, this person comes back and then you will you walk away from them. But it's completely up to you how you, you know, how you deal with this Taurus. Um, but what I've noticed in the readings that I've done is um, people are either walking away from negative relationships and moving on to someone new and someone better. Um, yeah, but there is a lot of people walking away from one another in May. Not in a bad way at all. Um, okay, one more message for Taurus is dealing with Earth signs for May 2018. Yeah, so you are turning down an opportunity with this person. So... You know, this is only um, temporary energies anyway, so, um, you know, there is definitely a chance to reconcile with this person, um, but I don't know if, you're, if you are ready to accept it at this time. Again, it's up to you. You could have a reconciliation. You could have a reconciliation, but I feel like it is what you make it, if that makes sense. So if you want to work things out, then the opportunity is there. But I more feel as though um, a lot of you have just had enough now and you're walking away. So let's see what's going on for those of you who are dealing with water signs. What's going on for Taurus who's dealing with water signs, Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer for May 2018? What's going on for Taurus who's dealing with water signs? from May 2018 
So there will be a new partnership. So you could have a new water sign coming into your life. And this person could offer you an important relationship. Make bold and ambitious choices. Great progress is possible. So um, I feel like some of you are walking away from someone and then you could end up meeting someone new. Um, it could be a water sign or someone who has water sign qualities. Okay. Um, but, you know, if you're patient, this will end up in, in an important relationship okay with someone who shares your vision which basically means that this new person that's coming to you is better suited for you than you know any kind of ex anyway so what's going on for Taurus is dealing with water signs yeah so you have invested wisely have patience I know it's really 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 frustrating being told to have patience okay messages for Taurus is dealing with earth signs um water signs sorry okay what messages do you have for Tauruses dealing with water signs for me commitment okay so for some of you you have a new water sign coming in or someone again with um you know water like qualities and if you're patient you will end up in a relationship with this person and this could be a potential marriage partner divine guidance is all about marriage so you're being led on the right path towards this person and this could be why things haven't worked out because this person could be a key person in your life and you're now meant to be with this person okay so um things to look out for this person could be very emotional okay they just seem to understand things emotionally um water is all about emotion um you know each element represents something different so fire so for example fire signs they're very energetic they want movement they're all about action whereas water they're a lot softer they're a lot more calmer you can always recognize a water sign you know they're very very empathetic um air signs they they represent um they represent the intellect and they represent communication so you'll recognize an air sign by um how kind of how kind of chatty they are um how intellectually stimulating they are you know they like to crack jokes they tend to have good sense of humors fire signs are like that as well especially aries um you know but particularly um air signs you know they like to you know have stimulating conversations you know um whereas earth signs they're more about grounding, they're more about st stability, they're more about nurturing um, and growth, okay? Um, so, yeah, so if you see someone, you know, who's kind of calm, you know, they're kind of um, soft but not weak, there's a difference between being, you know, calm and humble and peaceful and being weak. Um, so, you know, this person is very much able to have a good emotional bond with you i'm trying to think of the right way to kind of explain it um so this person if you have had an ending it's kind of had to happen so this new person can come into your life okay and i feel like you're gonna be happy you know that you've met this new person that's coming to you so yeah, so a new water sign's coming in. So let's see what's... I don't think I've done air, have I? No, I'm confused. Yeah, I think it's just air that I need to do now. So Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. I know I've done fire. I've done earth. I've just done water, so... We'll move on to, to those of you who are dealing with a Aquarius, Gemini or Libra. Okay. What messages do you have for Tauruses dealing with air signs for May 2018? The High Priestess. So this person is kind of intuitive or you have some intuition about this person. Okay. Now, just be a little bit careful because the High Priestess can represent secrets as well. What messages... Do you have for Tauruses dealing with air signs for May 2018? So, 
When you give, you also receive. Being resistant to change, extremes in how you save or spend money. Someone needs to make an effort. What's going on for Taurus is dealing with air signs for May 2018. But there is definitely, again, um, a chance to partner up with this person. But, again, I feel like it's slowly coming in. This... Um, relationship and commitment that's coming to you what messages do you have for taurus dealing with air signs for may 2018 the nine of gabriel so i feel like there's not a lot of change because one of you is really really guarded and a little bit secretive but you know again this could be something really good because you've got important relationships here you know a new partnership so again this could signify um somebody new coming into your life and with the higher priestess this is all about intuition so they're you know so you could meet this person and you just have a good feeling about them um but I feel like you're going to be a little bit guarded. You may not put in a lot of effort straight away, but it could lead into something very good. So one more message for, one more card for Taurus is dealing with air signs for May. Justice, so for some of you, this is a Libra. So they're just saying don't give up, okay? Um, and it, And it's almost like a karmic thing like, you deserve to be happy. You deserve to, you know, have this good um, energy come to you now because you have been through a difficult time. Okay, I know I said one more card, but I feel like I want to pull more for you to find out what's going on. What messages do you have for Tauruses dealing with air signs for me? Victory, perfect. Congratulations, you've done a wonderful job. Time to move on to the next project award scholarship or promotion so someone you could end up um catching your eye you could end up getting the attention of um somebody new there is definitely either a new air sign or someone with air sign qualities um i've explained that already so i'm not going to ramble on about that and um water signs so for may the signs to look out for are aquarius gemini libra particularly libra Justice is the sign of Libra and um, Scorpio Pisces Cancer. Okay, so I feel like you're leaving behind an ex or someone who just no longer serves a purpose in your life and someone better is coming in. Okay, so um, it's not all doom and gloom. So have patience, have faith. This relationship, this soulmate is coming into your life, okay? So I hope you guys enjoyed this reading. Have a fantastic May. Let me know what's going on in your love lives. Um, I do enjoy reading the comments and finding out, you know, what's happening in your lives. So definitely let me know. And don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll see you for next month's reading. Bye, Taurus.